eyes MR, new mobile here. This is Samsung Galaxy Note 20 hand on. The flagship space is definitely very you'll find the very best technology money can buy. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter, and you can purchase any Samsung Galaxy phones or Apple phones by clicking the links in the description. As well as some of the more innovative and unique features, but you don't have to have the very best anymore to enjoy an exceptional smartphone experience matron smartphones are getting better as the segment saw some major technological leaps, resulting in mid-tier phones that feel every bit as capable as modern fractures, as top and phone prices continues to creep up the mid-tier is more appealing than ever. This is especially true for Samsung's mid-range phones the past 18 months or so. Samsung's mid-range phones such as the Galaxy A-Series and M-Series have gotten significantly better speaking of the M-Series soon it will get a new member successor to the authority the Galaxy and 41 have come across details about the battery that appears to belong to the Galaxy and 41 bang on the Galaxy and 41 yes 7000. The rated capacity mentioned here is 6800 mAh, but as you know there is a difference between rated capacity and actual typical capacity. For instance, the Galaxy S20 Ultra has a rated capacity of 4855 mAh, while the typical capacity is 5000 mAh, so this will mean the Galaxy N41 will have the largest battery that they've ever seen on a Samsung phone. In fact, is compatible to the batteries in some big cabinet out some of. You might be wondering why I said that mid-range phones are getting such massive batteries. Well, their upcoming flagship, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, is only rumored to have a 4,500 milliampere unit. Well, it's simple lack of room for a bigger batteries in fractures. The Aspen case in order from inside the camera sensors are much bigger vibration motor is bigger, not to mention sleep profile wireless, charging, and things like water carpet, cleaning system, and more eats up a lot of space inside the flagships, and hence they can put crazy better numbers like this without inviting sex anyway. The Galaxy N41 will be a based company, which is TCL's China startup to electronics technology wonder why would they even do that when they have their own display division which happens to be the best in the world well to lure the component, because it may sound a bit weird, but Samsung Mobile and Samsung Display are sister companies, which means Samsung Mobile is still bidding on the system, affirms components like any other OEM out there to sourcing displays from a Chinese OEM, is bound to improve its profit margins, although not by much, but every little bit helps. In the entry-level price range for Android smartphones, a fiercely contested segment in virtually all parts of the world's profitability is debatable at best part from the battery. Not much else is known about the handset, except the screen sizes can be 6.7 inches flash D+, and interestingly, there are some Catholics a few months ago that showed the potential design of the handset was like his predecessor, the Galaxy N41 will have, a poncho cut out the left and a bigger camera module on the back. What remains to be seen as if Samsung has plans to launch this in the near future, but with an appearance on safety couriers to see tech. Please consider subscribing. As we are back with the Galaxy Note 20 news last time we talked about the official look at the Note 20 Ultra it is, by the way, still live on Samsung's website. According to Mac everything will be on point as can have 5G it's got a lot to give you at that price. But out of all the devices the base Galaxy Note 20 model just makes no sense to be at that $1000 prize. Let me know your thoughts. How Samsung should price the base. Note 20 model. Samsung is still trying to work out how sales of that flagship is 20 series. Well, didn't really do that well, and it is unfortunate because the global situation has to be blamed, in part, but it does continue a trend where people aren't really choosing Samsung flagships anymore. Maybe even kind mid-range phones and bigger numbers, but when the Galaxy Note 20, it looked like Samsung had actually listened to where their customers were going and designed iPhone then at least that's what we thought the Galaxy Note 28 flat screen fine. Maybe a cheaper, more affordable flagship phone from Samsung that their customers would buy in big numbers. That's what I thought that's what a lot of other people thought as well, but the last few days we now getting leak prices and suggested prices from in the note leakers, and well it is suggesting that this phone is just going to be as expensive as the per increase, and of course we have to take those prices with a pinch of salt, because we just start note that the real price is also when it comes to grid prices, they can be different to other European prices, definitely different to American US UK prices as well. But now we have one of the world's most now Samsung, the kid's trying in with what he thinks the next 20 cost 999 bucks for the Galaxy is 20, which just seems kind of expensive. We were hoping with the lower storage options. Also, the flat display which is cheaper for Samsung to implement that they would therefore be able to give us a more affordable price. Also the screen, not just flat out a full HD screen, not a cord actually screen and a 60Hz refresh rate. 
Not a bad screen at home, but this screen really is a mid-range of series fine screen, which has absolutely no issues whatsoever about in the Android world specs do matter. You have to compete and thousand dollars you have phones like the one plus a pro defined next to prior, and even at 90 hertz, a lot of other finds as well. That way cheaper than thousand dollars. And so it does just seem a little outrageous that Sam phone with a mid-range screen now. On the flip side of this. Why could Samsung charge thousand dollars for this find? Well those rumors that the Snapdragon 865 plus is going in here that is more expensive. Also ESPN, which was on people is the biggest and I need to, or to the next series I fully suspected that Samsung may charge at $800 for this fine, which is an aggressive price, and one that would maybe seriously make people think hey, this is a good value flagship Samsung. As I said these are specific price leaks, just suggestions. So let's wait and see what that price will come out, and I would love to 9 comments. What price do you think this fine with the specs should come out for it to be good value and entice people to buy certain Samsung news today? I looks like the Galaxy Forward 2 has gone through ultimate certifications, so we can be absolutely sure this thing is coming on August 5th, along with all the other products which I confirmed, is that the phone will come with a 25 watt charger in the box as well get to know. I am massively excited about that find to be honest, it is definitely the one that stands out for me a foldable find backs that we had about still massively expensive and not affordable, but definitely Samsung are light years away from anyone else with a product like this, and it really is unique and that's it for now. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece everything will be on point is can have 5G it's got a lot to give you at that price. But out of all the devices the base Galaxy Note 20 model just makes no sense to be at that $1000 prize. Let me know your thoughts. How Samsung should price the base. Note 20 model. Samsung is still trying to work out how sales of that flagship is 20 series. Well, didn't really do that well, and it is unfortunate because the global situation has to be blamed, in part, but it does continue a trend where people aren't really choosing Samsung flagships anymore. Maybe even kind mid-range phones and bigger numbers, but when the Galaxy Note 20, it looked like Samsung had actually listened to where their customers were going, and designed iPhone then at least that's what we thought the Galaxy Note 28 flat screen fine. Maybe a cheaper, more affordable flagship phone from Samsung that their customers would buy in big numbers. That's what I thought that's what a lot of other people thought as well, but the last few days we now getting leak prices and suggested prices from in the note leakers, and well it is suggesting that this phone is just going to be as expensive as the per increase, and of course we have to take those prices with a pinch of salt, because we just start note that the real price is also when it comes to grid prices, they can be different to other European prices, definitely different to American US UK prices as well. But now we have one of the world's most now Samsung, the kids trying in with what he thinks the next 20 cost 999 bucks for the Galaxy is 20, which just seems kind of expensive. We were hoping with the lower storage options. Also, the flat display which is cheaper for Samsung to implement that they would therefore be able to give us a more affordable price. Also the screen, not just flat out a full HD screen, not a cord actually screen and a 60Hz refresh rate. Not a bad screen at home, but this screen really is a mid-range of series fine screen, which has absolutely no issues whatsoever about in the Android world specs do matter. You have to compete and thousand dollars you have phones like the one plus a pro to find next to prior, and even at 90 hertz, a lot of other finds as well. That way cheaper than thousand dollars. And so it does just seem a little outrageous that Sam phone with a mid-range screen now. On the flip side of this. Why could Samsung charge thousand dollars for this fine well those rumors that the Snapdragon 865 plus is going in here that is more expensive. Also ESPN, which was on people is the biggest and I need to, or to the next series I fully suspected that Samsung may charge at eight hundred dollars for this fine, which is an aggressive price, and one that would maybe seriously make people think hey, this is a good value flagship Samsung. As I said these are specific price leaks, just suggestions. So let's wait and see what that price will come out, and I would love to 9 comments. What price do you think this fine with the specs should come out for it to be good value and entice people to buy certain Samsung news today? I looks like the Galaxy Forward 2 has gone through ultimate certifications, so we can be absolutely sure this thing is coming on August 5th, along with all the other products which I confirmed, is that the phone will come with a 25 watt charger in the box as well get to know. I am massively excited about that find to be honest, it is definitely the one that stands out for me a foldable find Bex that we had about still massively expensive and not affordable, but definitely Samsung are light years away from anyone else with a product like this, and it really is unique and that's it for now. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece out.